Engine severe damage. Departure runway 29. Kabul. Engine out procedure runway 29. At 70 ME. Turn right to heading 090. Use bank of 20 degrees. Intercept radial 330 inbound to Kabul VOR and hold. Inbound 150. Right turn. Use bank of 25 degrees. In one Togo. Take off thrust set. It is summertime. Taking off from runway 29 with bleeds off. The aircraft is at the maximum takeoff weight, 65,200 kilos. The temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. QNH 1005. Headwinds of 5 knots. Rotate. Engine failure. Positive rate. Gear up. Set heading select, bank 20. Autopilot A, command. Seven miles, right turn to heading 090. Call ATC and declare emergency. Caution, terrain. Visual with the elevation, heading 090 set. Checked. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Alpha Bravo Charlie request hold over the VOR due to engine failure. Alpha Bravo Charlie, copy your mayday. Hold approved. Climb to 13,000 feet. No in one rotation. Severe damage engine number two. Agree. Memory actions. Auto throttle disengage. Thrust lever number two. Confirm number two. Close. Engine start lever number two. Confirm number two. Cut off. Engine fire switch number two. Confirm number two. Pull. No fire or overheat indication. Memory actions completed. Flaps up speed set. Checked. Inbound course 150 set. Warlock armed. Warlock. Flaps up. Set Kabul on top. Kabul on top set. Execute. L nav. Set the hold over Kabul. 150 to the right. Entered. Execute. Set maximum continuous thrust. Entering the hold. Bank 25 set. Configure the air panel and read the engine severe damage checklist. Engine bleed 2. On. APU bleed. Off. Engine bleed 1, on. Isolation valve, auto. Engine severe damage checklist, condition, one or more of these occur, engine fire warning.
airframe vibration with abnormal engine indication. That is our case. Do you agree? Agree. Auto throttle. If engaged, disengage. Disengaged. Thrust lever affected engine. Confirm. Close? Close. Engine start lever affected engine. Confirm. Cut off? Cut off. Engine fire switch affected engine. Confirm. Pull? Pull. If the engine fire switch or engine overheat light is illuminated, that is not our case. Agree? Agree. Choose one. High airframe vibration occurs and continues after the engine is shut down. Not our case. Agree. High airframe vibration does not occur and does not continue after the engine is shut down. That is our case. Agree. Isolation valve. Closed. Pack switch affected side. Engine number two inoperative. Right pack. Off. This caused the operating pack to regulate to high flow in flight with the flaps off. APU bleed. Off. 1000 to level off. Check. Choose one. APU is available for start? Yes, it is already running. APU generator switch. On. Go to step 14. Balance fuel is needed. We still have some little fuel on the center tank. Transponder mode selector. TA only. Isolation valve switch. After the fire has been extinguished, there is no fire. Agree? Agree. Isolation valve. Auto. This step ensures bleed air is available to both wings if wing anti-ice is needed. Note, if wing anti-ice is needed above flight level 220, maintain a minimum of 50% N1. Go to the one engine in operative landing checklist on page 7.32. Engine severe damage checklist completed. Roger. After takeoff checklist. Engine bleeds. On. Right pack. Off as per the non-normal checklist. Left pack. Auto. Landing gear. Up and off. Flaps. Up. No lights. After takeoff checklist completed. Master caution. Fuel. Check. Center tank is empty. Cancel the master caution and turn off the center pumps. Center pumps off.